Let's be honest, Rick, to say you love a gadget and a tool is a massive understatement. And ever since Eddie turned up from Pegasus Electrical to install the trunking system here, with his Milwaukee laser level, you've been trying to get your hands on your own. As I look down on the desk, it looks like you've achieved that, but we yeah. haven't got the Milwaukee one, so what have we got in front of us? No, so we've got a Sigmund CM701 from a well-known online retailer that offers next day delivery. So we're saying maybe this is competitively priced and we will leave a link in the description to it. However, make sure you stay on to the end, depending on when you're watching this, you might be able to get your hands on one of these for free. Right, I've just popped it in this box, guys, for demonstration. If I flick that switch on there, you'll see that it's automatically self-leveled. If I tilt it ever slightly, it starts to blink. That indicates that it's hit its limits and it's not gonna level anymore. It's also got a 360 degree beam. Okay, so when you say 360 degrees, it's because I can rotate it around 360 degrees? No, it's that the beam is physically going 360 degrees round. And if you see there, we've got the beam going up and across the roof effectively. Yeah. In two directions, so we've got two vertical and one horizontal. Thanks for the upskill on what 360 degrees means when it comes to laser levels. Do you want to go through the buttons for me next? Yeah, let me just flick this on a minute. So each of these buttons. So we've got one horizontal, two vertical. Just look at my hand there. We can see it turns each on and off. And we've got one here also. Okay, so as I look down here, we've also got what looks like another power on button. Is there any other functions for that? Yeah, so again, if you look at my hand, you'll see that every time I press this, it cycles the brightness and then back to full. And the four LEDs of which two illuminated by the look of things are for the battery levels. How long would it last on full charge? Approximately 30 hours. And how do I recharge it? To recharge it, we've got a USB-C cable here. We just pop open the side. Oops, just flickering. I'll just turn that off. And from my earlier bit, I take it was flickering because it wasn't in the level plane. That's correct. So pop it into there and we can charge. We could go USB-C to C. We've got a C to A on the charging lead they sent with it. Just take a look at the bottom here, Gaz. There's a standard quarter inch UNC threaded adapter. Also in the pack, they send us a floor mount, which right. will attach. So as you screw those two together, am I thinking that most tripods also have got the same sort of adaption? They have, yes. Okay, so that's on there. And we know it can spin 360 degrees. We saw that earlier on. When you turn it on, am I right in thinking that I'm gonna to have to use my hand in order to make the adjustment against the wall or ceilings or floor? You can make them with your hand, or you can use this adjustment dial here to make some fine adjustments. Because if you're out like me, you're a little bit heavy handed. Sigmund have also got you covered with this bracket here. It's the same threading method. We screw that onto there, and in the back of the bracket, there is a slight keyhole, which is allows us to fire a screw into the wall, and then we can hang it from there. Okay, and that removes the need for us to, say, carry a tripod around on site to mount it. And as I look at the back, I can also see a couple of magnets. So we took it outside at Lineside Studios and attached it to the scaffold that is currently surrounding our building to see if it can work outside. We know that some laser levels can be difficult to see when you're outside, but we projected all three lines against the building and they were all visible. I'm getting more and more convinced as this video goes on. I'm in the description. I'm almost clicking that link, but remember, stay on to the very end and you can find out how you can get your hands on one of these for absolutely nothing. Now, talking about getting your hands on it, Rick, you've been all around Lineside Studios with this, using it to level up your mineral insulated cable in the kitchen area. You've used it up in our office in order to make sure our dado trunking is dead in line. You've also been in our workshop where we have our metal trunking surrounding the whole of the room in order to get it level. But what if I don't want a level horizontal vertical plane? Has it got me covered? It has. Do you want to bring in that box? Okay, I'll bring the cardboard box back in. What you got to show me now then, Rick? Right, you want to grab the camera? We'll just go back to earlier. We flick this into the on position or the self leveling mode. We can see there we're getting the rapid blinks to indicate that it's hit its limits. But you're obviously wanting it on the angle. To do that, we need to flick this switch back into the off position. Okay, so that locks the lasers, but the one thing I have noticed is it also turned itself off. It does, yeah. So if we just hold down the on button here for three seconds, you can also see here on the top of the unit, we've got a red LED, which indicates that it's in non-self-leveling mode. And as I tilt this, See, we get a fixed angle. The intermittent blink there that you're seeing is just to, to let us know that it's 
it's not in the self-leveling mode. Okay, somebody else is going to pick it up and I'll just have as well. There's a little gap here, what's happening there? Yeah, so that's not my finger in the way, it's actually part of this unit. So as you look at the top here, there's these little arms, which are obviously part of the fixture in obviously impeding the, uh, the laser beam. Okay, now everyone knows I don't like an app, but I absolutely love a remote control, and I've seen the one out of corner of my eye. That looks the simplest remote control in the world to work. Can you just go through the buttons for us? Yeah, so as on top, we've got on and off. So we've got vertical one on or off even. And then we've got vertical two on and off. And then we've got the horizontal again on and off. And in the corner here, we've got the brightness. As you press that, I should see this dim down, yeah? Yeah, you can see it cycling through on there. To say you're winning me over it would be an understatement, but let's do some of that technical babble. Yeah, so the levelling accuracy has a plus or minus 1.5 mil per five metres. Okay, yeah, brilliant. The working distance is 30 metres. Okay. And it's got an IP rating of IP54. It's, I'm always impressed with the amount of great information that you can remember, Rick. However, you would have remembered at the start of this video, I suggested I was going to give one of these away. In order to find out how you can win this, and if you're a little bit late, there might be something else you can win, the competition tab is in the description. However, if you're interested in other great electrician's tools, we recommend you check out the video just there.